from Acton Town to Wimbledon, from Brixton to beyond. Come love your London with us and sing with us this song. There's no more smog, but we've a vlog to brighten up your day. Come love your London with us, from Q to Haringey. Come out with us and play. Love your London. Have a banana. Alright there, love you. Alright there, love you, London. It's Tristan here. Um, Tristan, Tristan, no. It, it just it looks like a it looks like a maxi pad on your face. Just either wear it or keep, you know keep it over. Yeah. All right, there it's Tristan here. Um, love you, London. It's one of those specials. We did one already on the Clash. We did one on the Walkie Talkie, and this time, first day of the new season. I'm a Palace fan. Don't know if some of you knew that. Some of you didn't. Uh, for my sins, and um, well, I could watch the game at home, but I've decided I want to watch. I want to be as close as possible to Sellers Park, just to be sort of like somewhere near the stadium, just to sort of like hear the the referee's whistle somewhere drifting over the rooftops, and listen to the match on on the radio or whatever, rather than just sit at home and sit on the bed and watch another game. So, just want to get sort of some kind of atmosphere. It's really hard. I, I've barely missed any home games in the last 10 years, so it's really hard for me at the moment. But anyway, I thought this would be making for an interesting vlog to sort of like show you what it's like to be a Palace fan in these really weird times. It really is quite surreal to think that a match is starting in an hour's time here in Norwood Junction, here in Crystal Palace, and there's just no one there. Obviously, there's no one there. It's behind closed doors. Duh. But it's just still weird. It's really hard to get my head around. To think that those players are there and and I can't see it. It's frustrating. This area would normally be buzzing, it'd be full of coppers on police horses and people getting drunk. Anyway, just so weird. Oh yeah. Can you find the Strongbow, please? I'm here in the Cherries, uh, which is, I normally come here before every single game. Absolutely. Um, and obviously this is really surreal, isn't it? It's uh, like... How's it I, been? Oh my gosh, I'm just missing everything and everyone and I will be on the tears of this moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's just horrible things. I just want everyone to be back and, like normal. And what about fi I mean, finances? Oh, ab absolutely, but it's just... Um, what can I say? We don't know what will be. I know. And then with these new regulations coming in on Monday, I don't know if it's going to be yeah, all Yeah, I just weird. missing all the crowd, the palace games. I know. The shouting, screaming, fighting, singing, oh. jumping. <laughs> it's just missing. I know. Are you crying? Uh, I know. I'm sorry. This is very emotional. Yeah. It's very emotional, but I hope we will be back. We will be. Hopefully, hopefully in October. Yeah. Hopefully second half of October. Happy children and the bride and the palace have to be back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, brilliant. So what can I say? I miss you guys and I love you. Oh. All of them. The good one, the bad one, the crazy one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm missing everyone. Which one's the crazy one? Oh, few. <laughs> <laughs> few, but doesn't matter. We respect all of them. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully hopefully we have a good result today. Absolutely, finger crossed, yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm here in the garden of the cherry trees, uh, and uh, it's great to be able to see the game here later. I still want to get as close as possible to the to the stadium, though, so I'm going to go there first. I want to check out the, the shop if it's open. And look what they've done to it. They've actually, um, they've tarted it up. Look. Yeah, they've sort of, like, got a sort of a bit of a... A bit of a Moroccan feel out here with these nice candles and 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 stuff. It's really nice. That's good. I'm loving my afternoon here. My story is one. I live in um, Norwood Junction. I'm from Leeds originally, but I love it here and I love this pub. It's fantastic. You can't help but come in here once you come off the train. It's a lovely atmosphere. Nobody comes and bothers you, unlike me. Well, right? I'm an northern lass, so I'll always chat to anybody. 
and I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they've, and they've, tar they've tarted the place up a little bit, haven't they? They've put some yeah, nice They have, they place. have. They've made the seating um, much more sort of like um, sociable friendly. Yeah. If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's um, it's nice. I, l I love coming out of here and just sitting out of here, having a couple of glasses of wine and then toddling off home. Yeah. Because I live quite local as well. I've been down here in London now about 11 years and I absolutely love it. Love it. I've just been to see my sister off. She's gone back home to Leeds. Right. So I just thought, right, I'll see her off at the train station. I'll pop in here for a quick bump. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, so, so normally this place would be absolutely heaving. There'd be people, there'd be the, the home cell uh, fanatics over there singing their songs and um, there'd be dogs and kids and people screaming and shouting. It'd be fantastic. Of course, none of that at the moment, but... This is better than nothing, and it sure is better than sitting at home at the end of the bed looking at some dodgy stream. Now, normally here, there'd be that lovely little old lady knitting, knit, knitting her own um, her own palace scarves. First time I've ever been here on a match day, and she's not there. Of course, why would she be? But it is weird, isn't it? Well, there's no no foot traffic, is there? So. No. Yeah. There you go, they've just done one of these um, controlled areas for COVID that they've done to stop the, uh, just to make it, I don't know, to stop that, I don't know why they do this, no one's really sure, they're not very popular, I do know that. It's so weird, isn't it? To be so close and it's a match. Can I have a little interview, if that's all right with you? I'm, I'm no, 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 no. No? It's all closed doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the shop's open. The shop is open, yeah? No, we have where you can cut through. I cut through. Well, so just go down here. Yeah, and go straight down. Yeah. And you will see the passageway leading it through the car park. That's it. Free. Nice one. You can go to the pub and watch the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch here the cherry trees, I think. Cool. And here we are in Clifton Road Community Garden. Yeah. Clifton Road Urban Garden. Is that what these little boxes are? Yeah. This is the community garden. Yeah. Well, okay. Community pavement with garden aspirations. Yeah. I mean, I mean the match is starting in half an hour. Yeah, this is long. It's just weird. I like the away shirt. That's cool. It's very French though. And we're in the same bubble, yeah? You checked that. You are in the same bubble, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's all done for you. Cool. Um, I can get you a confirmation email sent. Lovely. And I get the po when I get the points added. Your so. points added straight away. Hi. Where are your, fa where, where are your face masks? I need two balls here. Okay, so there you can see Glad All Over is being played. It's quite surreal um, to an empty stadium. But at least I'm here. It's kickoff. It's in five minutes. He's running Southampton, starting a ninth consecutive campaign. So there is Ebre Eze, who uh, wasn't quite much fit enough to start this game, but I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Come on. A real buzz. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. about that signing QPR. Going forward, those two signings in particular. They were the lowest scorers. In their top flight history, Crystal Palace, 31 goals. Go on. 38 league games. You all right? Yeah, right, watching the game. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. In the best place, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right.
That's um, these are no use. They're in no use squad, I think. Oh yeah. Ah. No. No. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. Vamos. Vamos. Rather than watch me struggling to find another stream, Sharon decided to film the pretty flowers instead that decorate the Clifton Road Community Garden, or Urban Garden. It's called both. Fifty grand? Well, it became apparent that we should have stayed in the pub all along. This was never going to work and it was a stupid idea. We'd listened to the commentary over the radio on the way there. Just pop into the offie on the way and Sod's Law would have it, I missed Saha's goal. Oh! Earlier, he actually gets almost to a similar position, but this time he makes a better connection with his weaker foot and it's a lovely ball over the over the top of where Sod's Law was going to be because he had come even closer. Yeah, get in there, Saha! Glad all over, baby, I'm glad all over because you're mine. Hey. Oh, here he goes. Good stuff. Yay. Thanks. Don't actually need this outside, but I no. thought I'd show the colors a little bit. Now I'm going to take it off. Yeah. Come on, let's get to the pub. Did you do that? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Wicked. Thank you, Bastion. Nice. Yeah, look, come up. Can I come up? No? Oh, right, okay. Well done, it's really good. So you 
used to the seasons being when they are. I mean, well, that's the thing as well. Players have had to get used to the fact of all different times of games. He changed strippers to Palace in the blue and red. Sí, que. Going to watch the rest of the match in the pub. What a start, though, Zaha. Where should we sit? Where should we sit? Sit in the corner. Sit in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Hi there. Prime, uh, two pints of strong bow, please. Yeah, original or dark fruit? Uh, original. Alright. I'm ready, I'm ready signed in. Oh, We're not allowed to stand here, are we? Uh, no. Cool. Well, I'm in the I'm in the cherries. Uh, not very many people here because they've got to keep it social distance and all that stuff. No standing in the pub, so it's just seats only, so it's just literally no one's you know just like if you've got a seat you're lucky if not you can't you can't be in here but anyway so we got a seat fortunately and we're watching the game No! Oh! That was so close. Oh. Yay! Bien. Cool. Won the first game of the season. Love your London, have a banana. <laughs> 